Hey everyone, what is going on? So we are doing more Sinister Cup battles and for those of you that know, which is probably all of you, we actually had some changes and I probably will make a video discussing those changes and how they will affect the metagame. But for right now, we, for the most part, are focusing on Mawile with the new change. It does get Power Up Punch, which makes Bite incredibly dangerous, if it wasn't dangerous already, right? So, um... With my opponents, the first opponent, and I also am battling jokes afterwards. Uh, we didn't show teams. No, I actually did show my team to my first opponent. But I'm just putting random on the screen just because, as I said, jokes and I, we just wanted to try out some new things. and uh, Or he wanted to try out new things. Wasn't really focusing on showing the Pokemon. So I do have random on the screen. And I do apologize to those that like to see... Uh, the actual teams, uh, those who obviously continue as we continue going over some new changes uh, in the coming days, of course, because we will be focusing on some of them. Fire Spin, Marowak, which I didn't have for this video, but I do have now, so that will be coming up. And other changes, I mean, Steelix gets Thunderfang, which Jokes is going to be trying out in this video. Uh, but for me, it's basically Marwile with Bite, Power Up Punch, and... Uh, I also have Play Rough on mine, just to see how it does. Uh, going into it, I wasn't too sure because Mawile isn't the bulkiest Pokemon in the world, so I wasn't sure how fast it got to Power Up Punch. I wasn't really sure how much it would impact the Sinister Cup, but uh, it actually does. It's really uh, solid. It's really good. It definitely does uh, a, a lot of damage if you can get the Power Up Punch off. It depends on the matchup, of course, but um, yeah, my wild definitely benefited a lot from this update, and I know I did my finalized team video yesterday. That may change uh, depending on uh, these new moves. I don't think it's going to drastically change, but we might change a little bit. For example, Drift Blim might not be as good now because Steelix gets Thunder Fang, even though I think Steelix with Dragon Tail is better than Thunder Fang. If you guys disagree, let me know. I haven't tried out a Thunder Fang Steelix yet. I'm just going based on the energy it takes to charge up. I'd rather get to the Crunch and the Earthquake. But if I'm wrong, if you disagree, definitely let me know. But we'll be focusing more on Steelix in another video, probably with Thunder Fang, just to test things out right but for right now we have this uh dust clops and he has his alolan marowak and i'm gonna go ahead and get off my charge move which will be shadow sneak doesn't take it out but i switch into my while he will get off his charge move i do decide to block it it actually is flame whale which is a new move that alolan marowak gets uh, aside from fire spin and now he brings in his polyreth I am going to go ahead and let this power up punch go off because it did get nerfed before I brought polyreth into basically every game now I don't uh, I still it's I still good but I after that power punch look how much that Raichu is is taking it's it's almost it's only at like 2 HP now I mean that was like Three seconds at most. I mean, that was a crazy amount of damage. We did have to block that wild charge, but still, it took an incredible amount of damage. It was absolutely insane. Getting off another power up punch against his Polyreth. He does decide to block it. We bring in Dust Clops. It does get knocked out. That's okay because we're in a really good position at this point. My wild will fall to a power up punch. Again, it's okay because we do bring in Steelix and. I don't have Thunder Fang, as I said, on this one, but it's okay because we're still going to be able to knock out this Polyrath. He will get off Power Up Punch, but since they nerfed it, not really going to be taking too much damage. Uh, and we do finish him off with Dragon Tail, so we do go ahead and take this game. But you saw how much damage Bite did after Power Up Punch to an Alolan Raichu, and we're not even finished yet. But right now we're going up against the one and only Jokes. He will have a YouTube channel very soon, so once he creates his first video, I will link his channel. So I switch out because we lose that match up and I'm going to bring in my Bangzang. He brings in his Steelix. I am going to go ahead and shield this up because I didn't want to take a crunch. And I go for the side strike assuming that he would shield. I really thought he would have protected it thinking it was a bulldoze but he decides not to so that was a nice play on his end. I do decide to bluff again hoping to catch the shield and we do get the shield there so at least we do catch a shield. I am going to go ahead and invest my second shield because I knew I could get to a bulldoze or a side strike. He actually decides to switch out so I will go for the bulldoze against his Gallade right now and he will let it go through doing a lot of damage and then Mawile will destroy Gallade with an unboosted bite. Uh, so unfortunately Polyrath 
still positive against Mawile, unless, of course, we get a play rough. Now, I was actually going for the play rough. Uh, I was hoping he would try and knock me out with bubbles, and then I would get to the play rough and knock him out. But it didn't happen that way because we were not able to get to bubbles. So I bring in my Brangzang. He is going to knock it out. And then I do bring in my Polyrath. And, I mean, that's all she wrote. He is up a shield. I and not and uh you know we are healthier but he has another pokemon it is going to be that steelix but again you know we'll be able to take out steelix but as i said he is up a shield he actually does go ahead and block that power up punch because he does have a charge move ready to go it is crunch but you know it's it's fine because he has a healthy polyrath and yeah we get a uh, get off a power punch, but again, it was weakened, so I guess it wasn't really a super healthy polyrath, but it doesn't really matter. Super close game, though. It was a really close game, so good game. Well played, as well as always. So, we have more games, though, and we're going to really be showing the power of Mawile. So, I do lead with my Metacham, and he leads with his Alolan Mawak. Definitely a poor matchup for me. He switches into his polyrath. And I'm going to go ahead and get off this Shadow Punch. And he decides not to block that, as I expected he wouldn't. So he, we, we actually get off another Shadow Sneak. And he will not block that. Now he is going to get off a Charge Move. And I am afraid of Hydro Pump, so I do block it. But it's only a Power Up Punch, so nice play on his end. I do let this one go off, hoping it was another Power Up Punch. But this one's a Hydro Pump, so if we had done it reversed... We probably would win this game, but because we went, <laughs> did not, uh, we're not going to win this one. But we do knock out Polyrath, and he brings in his Alolan Marowak. And whether or not that has Hex or Fire Spin, it's still strong against Bangzang, but I think it still has Hex. But he will get off his charge move. I do decide to just throw the last shield. I really wasn't playing to win at this point. I didn't expect to win this game. Uh, but he does go ahead and get off another charge move, which is going to be Shadow Ball, and it will knock out Bongzong. I bring in Metacham, he brings in God of War, and yeah, the team composition just was not really able to handle his team, so, you know, I don't know. It, it, it's hard to say, but he does go ahead and destroy me in that game. But we have more games, so we're going to jump into another one. I do lead with my Steelix, and he leads with Empolia. Now, this Steelix does not have Thunder Fang, so I will switch into Bangzang, and he switches into his Alolan Marowak. So I am going to go ahead and go straight for that Bulldoze, hoping he thinks it's a Psy Strike and does not block. And he does block. Even if it was a Psy Strike, you probably still block that one anyway. Uh... So perhaps I should have went for the side strike, but that's okay. So we're doing a lot of more damage to him. I decide to throw up my last shield. I decide it's all or nothing. So I will go ahead and go for the side strike. I was thinking of trying to faint him down with confusions, but I thought he probably would have gotten to a bone club before I was able to, as he does, because he does block that and get to a bone club. So it doesn't knock me out, but then he's able to faint me down. But that is okay because I am going to bring in another Pokemon. I do decide for a little bit and decide to bring in Mawile and faint him down with Crunch. Now let's see what he decides to bring in. He does decide to bring in that Steelix. So I'm just going for the power up punch just to boost my attack for the most part. I mean, now that it was lowered, it's not going to do much to Steelix. But he actually switches into Empoleon. And Empoleon uh, has a huge advantage at this point. But you could see how much Bite is doing to an Empoleon, guys. We do get that power punch off. And we both go down at the same time. That was a full health Empoleon. My health was not full. So uh, that was absolutely crazy, guys. Uh, so... Um, yeah, we do get hit with an Earthquake, but we do survive, and we're able to get off an Earthquake, and this is going to knock out Steelix, but uh, yeah, that, that uh, Mawile is just absolutely insane now with Power Up Punch. Um, might actually add it onto my finalist team, but we have one more battle against Jokes, and we do lead with Steelix. He leads with his Claydol, so uh, liking this matchup because we can get to that crunch really fast and as we do we do get to it before he's able to get to earth power so we do go ahead and fire off that crunch doing a lot of damage and I was going to switch to my wild but I decided not to because I didn't want to give up switch advantage as you can see it is that um that poke that um Earth Power, yeah, Earth Power, excuse me. I do get off a crunch against his Dusk Noir. He does let it go through, and then I will switch into Mawile. Now, I had, I didn't know what Dusk Noir's moves were. It happened to be Dark Pulse. I could have taken that. I just didn't know what the moves were. 
But um, yeah, so we do go ahead and knock out Dusk Noah with a Mawile, and he does decide to bring in his Gardevoir. I do get off Power Up Punch, and Gardevoir is neutral to bite, and it's a frail Pokemon. So after that Power Up Punch, we're just going straight to town on that Gardevoir, and I actually go for another Power Up Punch. I wonder if I could have fainted it with bite. But uh, I probably could have. I think I could have. I don't know. But either way, you could see how much damage it does. But I mean, it's kind of like it's a risky Pokemon to use. But it's also really powerful when it goes off. But if you're in the wrong situation, it could definitely not benefit you. But either way, we do go ahead and bring in Bongzong and win that game. And that will be it for this one, guys. See you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.